Welcome to Robot Wars The Sixth Wars, the grand final. Reigning champions Razor are here. Number three seeds Firestorm in their third grand final. Number 12 seeds Tornado, never before beyond the series semi-finals. And the surprise package, unseeded Terahertz. What a lineup! Welcome the Master of Mayhem, Craig Charles. All right, calm down, calm down. It doesn't get any bigger than this. After all the pain, all the sweat, all the destruction, this is Robot Wars, the grand final! Over the last 14 shows, We've seen 96 robots enter the war zone and 92 get a right good kicking. And now we're left with the four best fighting machines in the country. As you know, our reigning champion raises back to defend his title. But boy, has it got some competition. So, are we fired up for the final? But before we get down to it, let's relive the road to Armageddon. Don't forget, Craig, not only 96 robots were in there fighting, but also our house robot team were always ready to rumble, including the gruesome newcomers, Mr Psycho and his pet pal, Growler. So, Renning Champs raised the start of their defence of the title by crumpling Wasp. Raging Reality and Brutus Maximus in style. Next to tumble, Cyrax. Just few what relief. Firestorm made sure there was no glamour for Cedric Slammer. Megahertz was hurt badly and barbaric response were too slow to respond. So was the ref pop, by the way. Uh, and Exterminator. And even Shunt. How impressive was that? Tornado huffed and puffed against Incredible. Blustered terrible. Before pushing and shoving slowly to victory. Next, they won the war with Thor. And put paid to Anarchy only just. The pushability factor edged it with the judges. They've gone for Tornado! And terahertz, always menacing, always aggressive, and even too good for the seeded panic attack. The number eight seeds ended up quite literally mangled. Into the first semi final, and Razor punctured Wild Thing's ambitions, raising its own expectations as it ditched the Adams family creation. For Firestorm, it was a game of rushing roulette with 13 black, afraid to peep, then start to weep. Razor made sure of a final place after a tight squeeze with Dan Tom Gear, who nearly went the distance before being hammered by Psycho and by the judges. They've gone for Razor! Firestorm made it through in a spree with the end of S3. Ultimately. In the second semi-final, Tornado went head-to-head -head with Hypnodisc, the number four seed side-by-side. Side. It looked close. The judges had no doubts. Judges have unanimously decided that Tornado won! The Terahertz menacing march took them beyond spawn again with a bit of a wobble. A hack attack. And a little bit of help from their friends. Tornado's place in the grand final looked in doubt as Dominator 2 bashed, but then crashed. 
leaving one place in the final up for grabs, and the axe of terahertz took it. Bigger brother shown no brotherly love by the unseeded underdogs or by the unfeeling arena. So tonight's lineup is Razor and Terahertz. Tornado and Firestorm 4. Our four robots will be paired off for two initial knockout fights. There'll be a playoff for third and fourth place, and then the grand final. And that'll decide who'll be crowned champion of Robot Wars, the sixth war. So, hey, hey, let's meet the big four. Well, this is the final lineup to end all final lineups. I'm very excited. Razor, seeded one. Can they do it again? They've already made it this far thanks to a whole series of lethal injections. Firestorm seeded three. Calm, relax. But is that a good thing? Have they got enough fire in their belly? And uh, yes. <laughs> Team Tornado still putting their robot back together. Seeded 12, mind, and they've done very well. That fight against Hypnodisco, I don't know if you remember, but that was stunning. The Terahertz team, this is an unseeded robot. It's phenomenal. It's mammic. The axe can cause huge amounts of damage. They took the number two seed out. We will be covering all the carnage on Damage Cam. The robots are ready. Well, almost. Are you?